And we're back. Julio and I are here and we're really excited to talk to you about something a little bit different than the launches, but just as exciting. Don't worry about it. Get ready. You buckled in? All right, here we go. I am here with a fantastic person. I am going to introduce you to him now from the training and cert. But yet, no, I won't do it justice. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Um, take it away. Hey, thanks. My name is Kevin Kelly and I lead the AWS Global Certification Team. So I have a team that writes the exam questions, builds and publishes the exam forms uh, for the certifications associate foundation and professional level that our customers and partners take and earn credentials on our platform. I knew you guys would be excited, right? So all of you, as you were feverishly studying for those uh, exams and proving that you two are, have the chops in AWS, this guy's team is really putting the great content out there for you. So you have something exciting to talk to us about here today. You want to go ahead and tell us about this? I won't say it. I'll sure. Just, okay. Uh, we have two exciting things to talk about. One is we launched a, an AWS learning uh, system. And as part of that system, we launched 100 free courses covering over 70 AWS services. And one of those courses supports a brand new certification that we've developed called AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. Wow. And this okay. is a new entry level certification that's really targeted at people who don't spend all day at the console or the command line interface, but work around the platform and are stakeholders and help make decisions about workloads and applications that get deployed on the platform. So this is really targeted at um, financial planners, cost people who develop the costing for the platform, uh, software development managers who no longer code but have a deep understanding of the platform, uh, scrum uh, leaders that are setting up the sprints, requirements analysts who are developing the requirements that become the workloads for the platform, but again, aren't day-to-day -day at the console or the command line. So this is really uh, opening the aperture to include many more roles and stakeholders uh, to earn a credential on the AWS platform. That is fantastic, fantastic. and I know it's needed, don't you? Because when yeah, you're out there, don't this... people come up to you and the first thing they ask is, well, I, I don't, I'm not really a developer and I'm not really a DevOps person, how do I get started? Do you get that yeah. a lot? Yeah, uh, not only this, but there's a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt in less mature ecosystems, mm -hmm. for example, where you have these discussions like, is this, called thing ready for us, our application is so special, can we trust this, will it be within our budget, do I need to change my application? So uh, th there is uh, a lot of those things that for developers is our bread and butter, but it's not only the developers out there, we need to spread the knowledge and the culture about cloud to every IT role out there, and I think this is really important for that. I totally agree. I mean, cloud is the future, obviously. We, we wouldn't be so excited about it if it wasn't. And here it is, you can have now a cert for those specific people. We get yep. asked that all the time. Yeah. So, so kind of tell us about what it is. Yeah, so it, it's, a, it's, it's a certification focused on those leading edge decision makers, right? Before nice. the developers get an AWS account and start working on the platform directly, there's lots of stakeholders that have to make those business decisions and costing decisions and security decisions ahead of time. And so this is really targeted at them and it covers um, cloud concepts. So you, know, you do have to understand what the cloud is and what things like auto scaling are and object storage versus relational databases. Uh, it covers security. It covers a few technology concepts, but don't panic. It's technology concepts really at that business entry level. Nice. So, for example, it, it will want to make sure that you understand what services you would use if you wanted a managed relational database on the platform. Of course, that would be RDS. Cool. Uh, and, it, and then finally, uh, it's targeted at um, compliance issues uh, and, and how to use the platform safely and costing and billing. Big, important decisions that get made uh, when you make a decision to move a workload to the cloud. So imagine a financial analyst or cost analyst who's helping set up uh, billing alerts and resource tagging in order to correctly allocate the expenses to the right business centers who are sure. developing the different workloads. So this is really targeted at all of those roles and it covers those concepts. Cloud concepts, technology around the cloud, security and costing and billing. This and sounds totally fantastic. Yeah. And how does it fit within the current scheme of certifications that we have? Could you tell about this and sure. what else do we have in this space? Yeah, if, if we can take a look at my computer screen, I've Can got, share the I've got our most screen? current roadmap up. 
Uh, All right, we have your screen live. Let's yeah, go. and so you see on the bottom there this new entry level certification, cloud practitioner at the foundation level. And you can see all of those roles that I mentioned earlier, uh, business analyst, requirement analyst, finance, account, technical account manager, support. Uh, they're all lumped into that cloud practitioner role and they can earn that entry level certification. You'll notice it's optional for our traditional builder roles. So we still have our associate and professional level certifications for solutions architects, developers, and system uh, sysops admin. They can take this cloud practitioner certification if they choose to. However, they can jump right to the associate level certification if that's the right certification for them and they're prepared for it, they have the training and they think they're ready to take it. Another cool. question I get asked a whole lot is, mm -hmm. Um, well, how do you prepare for this exam? How do I prepare for the exams? How do I dig in it? How am I successful? Can you tell us more about that? I know I get that question a ton um, as we travel around and speak. Sure. So uh, now on my screen I've got um, our webpage and we have one of these for each of our certifications. It really has a step-by-step -step guide nice. on how to prepare. And you know, it starts with you know, having, for example, for the cloud practitioner we recommend six months or more experience around the AWS platform. Again, don't have to be a builder, but you have to be immersed in it. Uh, and the next step would be to take some training. And I mentioned that new uh, AWS training system that we released this week that has that cloud practitioner essentials training for free as part of that offering. So if you want to prepare for this new certification, you can, you can go take that new free digital training. Uh, and then we also supplement it with white papers, like it's never a bad idea to read our security white paper and our architecture best practices white paper. Uh, we also recommend some specific hands-on labs, depending on which certification you're pursuing. Um, and then finally, uh, just taking a look at some of our uh, what's, uh, what's My Architecture YouTube videos, yeah, uh, taking a look at the first couple of chapters of each of our service overviews uh, and, and study and documentation guides. So we really wow. have a lot of material out there. I would like to add that it's very important to get some hands-on experience. So join our Twitch sessions for live coding and get your hands dirty with the, the services and the exam should be no problem. So we have a question from the Twitch. What if there's a new testing center out there and they're like, oh, we're just so enamored by the great training you guys put out and they want to become, join the AWS network and become one of those training centers. Yep. What, can you tell us what do you recommend for that? Yep, so we use a partner called PSI who actually delivers our certification exams for us. And you can become a testing center for them and deliver exams. Uh, you, can, you can go to a testing center, you know, sort of a traditional building someplace that you might take a train or drive to. Uh, and they also have an interesting kiosk technology. So they actually have brought two of their kiosks to the certification lounge uh, over in the ARIA and you can drop these kiosks into your office. Nice. So if you're a big customer and you have 100 people that want to get certified, you can drop a kiosk into that location and have people take, schedule the exams and take them on that kiosk. Otherwise, you can go to the testing center. Uh, you can contact PSI if you're interested in becoming a testing center and actually hosting the kiosks or hosting equipment that's capable of delivering our exams. Cool. That's fantastic. And well, what about this here? Like, we're here, we're here to reinvent. Obviously, there are people that are, right, they love yeah. AWS, they're here to learn more. Can yep. they take this new exam today at reinvent? They can. So oh. we're actually doing on-site testing here at reinvent in Vegas. Uh, it's over at the Mirage. Uh, so you can go to any of our certification information booths or go to our registration desk over in the Mirage where we actually have equipment and when we're delivering hundreds and hundreds of tests. Uh, we have about yeah. 1,300 people already registered to take uh, exams, we are running out of slots. So if you do want to take an exam here at Reinvent, up, I'd recommend going out to aws.training and registering for an exam here. If you miss that opportunity, of course you can still go to AWS Training after Reinvent. It'll take you through, a, uh, it leads you into the PSI site where you can register for an exam at a test center nearby. Yeah, and how long is this exam, this new exam? Is? Yeah, so this exam is uh, 65 questions and you get 90 minutes. That's okay. for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. And I have a question about the normal passing rate. Is um, how do we establish this rate, and yeah. what do people need to pass? This is a very common one, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So lots of people ask that question. Um, we don't release our our passing score uh, because it it actually does move up and move down as we swap in and swap out questions. You know, we'll swap questions out when the, and our platform moves very quickly, so we'll swap them out when they become stale or, or no longer correct. Um, so that 
passing score will fluctuate a little bit. Yep. Um, we also offer practice exams. So when you've taken the training, done some hands-on labs, read the white papers, read the documentation, and you feel like you're getting close to being ready, I recommend you take one of our practice exams. And our general guidance is if you, know, if you can score between 80 and 90 on the practice exam, you're, you put yourself in a good position to take a run at the, at the live exam, and, mm -hmm. and, and um, you're in a good position to get a passing score. Sounds, awesome. Yeah, that sounds good. I know you yeah. know this better than most, right? Yeah. But uh, what a, th this is going to sound like an odd question. We're here at reInvent. We're talking about all the great certs. But why would someone get a cert? And, th and that sounds like a crazy question, but I want our viewers to understand, one, how great these certs are, yeah. and what are the benefits of buckling down, getting these certs, and really being able to, to tout that you're certified in AWS? Yeah, when you get one of our certifications, it, it really does give you an industry-recognized credential that says, you know, at the foundation associate or professional level, I really do have a deep understanding of the AWS platform. Uh, and so as an individual, you know, that's something that you can bring with you to every meeting, every consulting engagement, uh, you know, every, uh, every whiteboard you run up to and start drawing. You know, it, it brings you credibility that you actually do understand the platform based on the certifications that you have. Yeah, with every strong trend in IT, you see certifications coming along, and we are certainly a leader in, in the value of our certification to the market. You can see here we have a expo hall of hundreds of partners that would surely value the developer certification. And now with the not only developer certification, right. that would be applicable to anyone trying to join them. Yeah. You know, I think um, we can certainly think about the benefits to the individual, and there are many. And we actually have a benefits program. So you get a digital badge, you get um, a practice voucher for your next yeah. level exam. Oh, so nice. we give you a lot of benefits from getting certified, but for the, for the employer and the customers that you interact with, that's the real benefit. They get the benefit of you putting in the time to study, to learn the AWS platform, uh, and bring that to every engagement that you have with them. You know, employers, when they're trying to make decisions about hiring people, they can use certifications as a way to help gauge somebody's expertise. Sure, I really appreciate that. I started on the training and certification team myself, took all the, the certs, yeah. and we have a lot of swags and goodies here at Ringvent for, and summits as well for the certified personnel, but really, it's, a very differentiator for partners when you go to a partner <coughs> and you see how hard they have uh, trying to s hire people that actually know their stuff about the cloud right. because talking about the cloud is easy yep. but getting it done getting is dirty, not right, so much really, yeah, learning about so it, yeah. I think this is crucial for that yeah and that's important because we do have um, recommendations for each of the certifications for you know, for the cloud practitioner, you need six months in and around the platform. For our associate level exams, we really recommend 12 to 18 months production deployment experience, deploying one or more different kinds of workloads. Yeah. So that, so that it, it's really difficult to pass those exams unless you have that hands-on experience. You know, nothing, nothing replaces the first time you lock yourself out of an EC2 instance because you misconfigured the security group. Or, you know, you have a volume that you need to get the data off of and you have to remount it on another instance. You know, there's just a lot of practical things that happen when you're using the platform that you really only get through experience. Yeah. I always say that I, I get better when I have some type of failure and you learn to get over that, that you know, disaster <coughs> or whatever. And I'm like, wow, no, I'll never forget that. That's something I now know and I can tell for others, if you have this problem, this is how you fix it. Right. Yeah. So, do you have any advice in specific for people taking the test? Anything that you find important for developers to keep in mind preparing for the certification? Um, single AZ is never the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I'd recommend uh, having that production deployment experience, uh, taking the practice test for sure, uh, take, taking advantage of this new digital learning system that we provided where you know we have 100 plus courses and we're covering over 70 services cool. you know at no cost right. so that's a great way to help bootstrap yourself and, and focus on the services is that, that available you don't already use. it's available we announced it this week Love that's awesome uh, and focus on the services that you don't use every day so what um, happens is that, you know if I'm building social media apps I get very good at a set of services that I leverage for that 
but I may not be thinking about some of the other exciting AI services we heard about. Right. You know, so, and, and so yeah. take learning modules on the services that you don't get to touch frequently. Right. And it's all on AWS, amazon.com slash training? Yeah, aws.training, yep. Yeah. Cool. All awesome. right guys, hey, if you're here in reInvent, you need to go and try to sign up for these certs. There is a great new cert out there for you guys to get, for those of you who have stressed that you're going to get all of them, here you go. Uh, we look forward to seeing you about more great announcements on Twitch. We're here live. Thanks you guys for tuning in.